Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a quick look at who has Scorpio's heart. I'm just pulling these cards out really quick. I'm going to get right to it. I feel like this is pretty lengthy, whoever this person is. This is a really impromptu. This is actually for my second channel, so you're not going to get the whole whatever that is. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. All right, so I'm just taking a look at your person really quick. This is being uploaded to... Zen Whispers, my secondary channel. So you guys are more than welcome to join me over there. We're going to take a quick look and see who is Scorpio's heart. Okay, so I sound, I, it's early in the morning. I don't know what time it is. I know it's really early. The good thing is I have my coffee. I'm not going to show or advertise who the coffee folks are, but we're going to take a look at Scorpio's person. Um, somebody who is Scorpio's heart, I'm showing here, uh, and I'm going to kind of be free with this. I'm not going to really... I'm showing somebody here just to get to straight facts, right? So what I'm finding is this is somebody who could be an earth sign. I'm showing that it could be different people, Scorpio, for you. I'm showing that this could be an earth sign here. We have the seven of pentacles that shows up. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra that shows up also, but we also have Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So any of these folks here that show up in this reading could be your person or this could just be a person's energy. Now, somebody here, I'm showing that Scorpio, whoever this person is, they are overcommitted to something that they do. Um, I feel like that they don't have much of a social life because they're so caught up in work. Um, I think it's something that they do that is high pressure. So I'm thinking that this person is a professional, right? So if I had to pull any of the cards, I would say, I don't know. I don't know. I would say that this person has, there's something happening to do with finances. It doesn't, I mean, it does show up here, but it, it doesn't necessarily show up, show up. But I think there's a big focus on money or something like that, whoever this is that you deal with. Um, so yeah, this person doesn't have a social life. They might be actually canceling stuff with you in some cases. I don't know if you guys, whatever, whatever, but I feel like this person has a lot on their plate here. Um, it's almost like they signed away their life, it, but, but for a period of time, it didn't happen just like, uh, overnight. So I feel, I don't know if this person does a bunch of projects or something and they're locked up for periods of time or something like that. Whoever this person is. Um, also, uh, with this person, there's something about being disappointed in some kind of an enterprise. So that tells me again, that there's something here having to do with this person being in a business or something. Um, I feel like also this person has your heart, but I'm not necessarily convinced. I don't know. I don't know if you're with this person or if this person just has a grip on some part of your heart. Um, there's something here where they made some kind of investment having to do with finances and investment. And I don't think the investment went well. I think that something may have happened with a, a business or an enterprise because it does talk about the failure of a new enterprise or something that they don't think is going the way they want it to. Um... There's also a possibility that because of these finances, there's something about an unpaid loan. So this could be your person, whoever this person is for you. Um, there's also, again, like I was telling you guys, something about being postponed. They keep putting things off with you. Um, and this person actually finds it very difficult to bring. So I believe, I believe it is to separate that work life, separate the work life from separating the business life. So I feel like this person is very involved. Let's see. There's something also where this person does not... It's something where they don't feel comfortable about contenders. I feel like contenders in this relationship, meaning Scorpio, I don't know if this person could be intimidated by the, the, the people that they believe are coming for you. Or they believe that they have competition or too much competition to... I feel like I feel like this is an excuse or something like that. Like there's a lot of competition. So in addition to everything I have going on, there's a lot of competition. I don't necessarily feel like dealing with that. But the cards are saying that even though, and I want to back this up too, and this is why I'm telling you this has something to do with finances. So I think this person might have some burdens currently, but this person is doing okay financially. All right. Something about losing the other contenders. This person is not loud with the way they celebrate what they have. So this is probably a little bit more of a quieter, reserved energy, whoever this is. I feel like they are boisterous when it comes to whatever it is they do. I feel like a boisterous energy like that. But I feel like when it comes to the accomplishments or rewards that come after the boisterous behavior as it pertains to business or whatever, 
I feel like they're more reserved with their celebrating of it, if that makes any sense, right? So also this person is something about properties. This person might be trying to buy some kind of property or something like that. It talks about this person expanding their property holdings. Okay, whoever this person is, they sound like they got a good head on their shoulders, but they sound like they don't have time for you, Scorpio. Um, the justice card, again, this person is probably caught up in some kind of legal matters. In some cases, this has to do with their property. Remember, this person is expanding their property holdings. So there could be uh, lawyers involved there, something having to do with justice bids. We don't know, whatever this is about. But this person, um, also, just to speak to their character, there's something about justice here where they're fair and they're, fair and they're balanced when it comes to something. All right. It's really funny because you have this multi, this, this personality, this person, they seem bolsterous. I have, what is that? Hold on. Let me see this. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's a lawnmower or something like that. One of those driving lawnmowers. So yeah, they're like bolsterous with their energy. But at the end of the day, I feel like this person has some kind of balance between, uh oh, let me see this mess. Um, some kind of balance between what they do in business and how they are with you in real life or something like that. So I think that if you guys are inquiring, is this person fair? Uh, yeah, this person is a very fair person. Actually, they actually operate in wisdom. They actually have a lot to share. As a matter of fact, this person seems to walk you to the edge of the water. Like they'll be like, hey, let's go. I'm going to tell you why. I'm, I'm driving you this way. I'm going to tell you why I'm directing you this way. It's almost like they show you, but they don't... The way they express themselves is very... Hmm. You don't really know what they're saying until, until you get to the last step, if that makes any sense. And you're like, oh, that's why... So I feel like this person even guides you in wisdom somehow, something like that. Something else about this person, something about a pragmatic approach. Something about... And this is another clue. Let me tell you guys why I think this person, this is a business person, or this is somebody who has some kind of influence, prominence, or something like that. I feel like with you guys, it talks about this person needing to find a balance between power and emotional reason. So power and emotional reason, something like that, right? Um, something about not being judgmental also. Uh, did I have another one here? Yeah, so also, is this person... Uh, yeah, something about, all right, and this is, this is where the funny thing comes in. All right. This person, this person is a business person. I declare it. And I say that because there's somebody, it looks like there's somebody that works with them or for them, uh, works and working colleagues. There's some dismantling of some sort of group. I feel like whoever this person is, they didn't tell it yet. So they, this person might be a boss because I feel like there's going to be some kind of separation. There's some kind of disappointment that comes behind something that happens and they can't face it yet. Like, I feel like this person that you guys are, who their heart is with, I feel like they might be going through, through something having to do with work or business or some kind of separation that they know is coming. I don't think they disclosed it yet. Okay. That was just real quick, whatever that's about. Let me see. Is there anything else? No. I'm going to just leave it there. It's just a quick, who has Scorpio's heart? You figure it out. You take the story. You can look at the signs. Let me see if there's any other clues about this person. Any other clues about this person? I mean, I'm already at eight minutes. This is a second channel, but you know what? Why not? Mm hmm. Give me some more about this person. Some more about this person. Just clues of who this person could be, who they are. Ah, oh, there's something about children here. Um, your person could be separated from children or not have any children or whatever the situation is. Something about the child. Maybe some of them can't see their child or something like that. Something about a child. Um, give me one more. The child is reversed. Something about the letter. Um, I feel like this is something having to do with you guys maybe be not communicating with this person or something like that. There's something about not communicating. So they, this person could not be communicating with their child or there could be a letter coming in about a child or something. This person is at a crossroads. They have choices that need to be made about something. I'm at a crossroads. What should I do? This person is trying to make a decision about something. I believe it might have to do with... Um, Oh, everything we said in that card, contenders, finding it difficult to bring things together. How can I bring my work together with this and that integration? 
but we also have uh, the writer. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about deceptive news. You're not sure if somebody's deceiving you. And that comes under, you know, the Knight of Swords, justice, or depending on the way, it fell under justice. But something about somebody being dishonest with you. So this could be somebody, Scorpio, that, had, that had, they could have been dishonest with you in the past. There's something that they're hiding at a crossroads, whatever that's about. But this is a quick read, whatever that means to you. I'll see you guys later. Love ya. Bye. Oh, yeah. Visit me at Zen Romance Tarot. Email me at Zen Romance Tarot to Gmail. Join me in my main channel. Right, right now, I'm just doing regular signs, but I didn't do a Scorpio. I didn't do a Scorpio read in a couple of days, but I figured I hadn't done one of these in a while, and I wanted to upload to this channel. So join me on my main channel for Scorpio reads. Everybody's reads. Cross walkers, cross watchers are welcome. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Love you. Bye.